Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the fourth lecture of MIMO series, and in last lecture we have seen how MIMO works. Okay, so when we heard this term MIMO, so first thing that triggers in our mind that MIMO helps in enhancing throughput. Okay, but along with throughput, uh, MIMO also provides reliability. to our signal okay so we will see these things one by one means how throughput and reliability is uh, is increased using mimo okay so uh, mimo there are some modes of mimo let me write down them here so first mode is your tx diversity tx diversity or transmit diversity and the second mode is your uh, spatial multiplexing spatial multiplexing and we could also use mimo for beam forming okay beam forming is out of scope of this series okay we'll cover it this topic in some other series okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss about tx diversity okay so uh, let's read its definition first okay so in tx diversity two streams from two antennas carry same information okay this improves reliability or robustness of signal but it does not increase throughput i'll tell you how so first thing that uh, you should know about tx diversity that it increase the reliability of transmitted signal okay but it doesn't contribute in increasing throughput okay to understand tx diversity in better way let me take an example okay so suppose this is our tx unit tx diversity okay so we are going to consider 2 cross 2 mimo so at tx unit we are having two antennas and at rx unit We are going to have two antennas. Okay, so this is TX1, TX2, this is RX1, and this is RX2. Okay, so suppose this transmitter unit wants to send a signal S. Okay, so what it will do? It will uh, send signal s let me change the color it will send the signal x sorry signal s from antenna tx1 okay and same copy of signal s it will send from transmitting antenna tx2 and uh, it could provide a time delay here okay time delay so suppose at tx1 antenna uh, our transmitter uh, send this uh, signal s at time instant t1 and at time instant instant t2 it will send same copy of signal s from transmitter antenna to t2 tx2 okay Okay, so let's read the definition again. This is two streams of data, two streams from two antennas carry same information. Okay, so you could see same information S is carried by uh, both the antennas. Okay, we also call it a stream. Okay, so both these streams from two antenna carrying same signal or information or data. Okay. Okay. 
information okay so fine so uh, this is your wireless channel right I have explained you this in my last lecture this is our wireless channel this is very unpredictable okay wireless channel like fading could be here okay phase shift could be there and noise could be there okay so these things will distort the signal this s signal okay so it could be possible that uh, signal s from tx1 got lost in between okay but uh, signal s from tx2 will reach to its destination okay at rx okay and uh, I hope you remember in my last lecture I have shown you this thing that signal S it will send to T to Rx1 as well okay and this Tx1 will also send this signal S at Rx2 okay so you are talking about SU MIMO single user MIMO okay so where Rx1 and Rx2 can communicate with each other so they will share the signals of each other okay for more details uh, please visit lecture number three okay so here just uh, focus that uh, both tx1 and tx2 are sending same information okay so that if uh, signal from one antenna got lost then signal from another antenna will be reached to its destination so this is how we are providing reliability okay using tx diversity diversity Remember, it doesn't contribute in enhancing throughput, this mode, TX diversity, okay? Fine. Uh, so, uh, for throughput enhancement, we use spatial multiplexing, okay? And spatial multiplexing, we'll discuss uh, in next lecture. Fine. So, uh, this TX diversity, means in which scenario we could use TX diversity. So first scenario could be suppose our UE is in poor radio condition. Poor radio condition means SNR is low, RSRP is low. Okay. Uh, so uh, what transmitter will do in that case? Transmitter will send uh, same signal from its antennas okay so that if one got lost the other will reach to its destination okay so and if for long distance communication also from law for long distance communication also although both are same things because if u is quite away from e node b so it means it's in poor radio condition right Okay, and for control information also. Control information that are carried by PDCCS channel. Okay, for that also, uh, E-Node-B always uses this TX diversity because these are very crucial information, okay, that UE has to decode, otherwise UE won't be able to any anything, okay. Fine, let me show you one more diagram here. This will clear the picture of TX diversity. So here, uh, this is the transmitter, this is the receiver. So transmitter wants to send this ABC information, okay. So here you could see that uh, from both the antennas, TX1 and TX2, same uh, set of information, ABC here and ABC here, okay. Uh, same set of information is transmitted from both the antennas okay x1 and x2 so this is these are the coefficients of wireless channel okay 
and receiver has received the information okay so this is what i have explained here same means tx1 is sending signal s and copy of same signal s is transmitted from tx2 okay so there are uh, different types of diversities are there so what we have discussed here that we have provided time delay right uh, for sending this signal s uh, from tx2 antenna okay so this is known as time diversity there are three three types of diversities first one is your time diversity that we have just discussed okay second one is spatial diversity in a spatial diversity what uh, we do we actually at transmitter we separate the antennas physically or mechanically by several by certain wavelength let's say lambda by 2 or lambda by 4 okay so when we uh, when we separate these two antennas so what happens the signals from both the antennas follow different paths okay so what we have to do as this is diversity right so again we have to send same information that is s at tx1 and s at tx2 okay so when suppose from tx1 it is following path 1 and from tx2 it is following path 2 okay so if a uh, signal of path 1 got lost somewhere then signal from path 2 will be reached to its destination okay the third one is your frequency diversity these are in separate topics we are not going in more detail this uh, this lecture is just to give you idea of diversity okay so frequency diversity just a second okay frequency diversity means using two or more widely spaced uh just a second so frequency diversity means using two or more widely spaced frequency channels to send the same message okay so this is all about uh, diversity okay so in next lecture we are going to discuss about spatial multiplexing where we will see how means uh, mimo is used to enhance the throughput okay thanks for watching